Hey, 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 steady, Steve. Please like and subscribe. Please click on the Decuos icon. Click on subscribe. 100% free. 100% free. Uh, well, apart from blood in, blood out. <laughs> Another vital video. All right, so I did a recent video just talking about the blueprints and materials problem. And I was contrasting these two. And at the end of the day, I had to spend a million, billion gems in order to get the blueprints to a ch have a chance of getting the crit aka expertise in the shield of the eternal empire or getting you know enough blueprints to get the iconic levels it's, it's, it's quite a long journey um so i steered left and ended up going for the hammer of the sun and moon uh, just a little bit earlier today off camera i got it to iconic level two which obviously the stats are better you get an extra half percent basically on um enemy health ignored but but to go to iconic level three we can see it's going to cost 55 legendary and, and that's not all for I me mean, that's less than it costs to get the actual thing i mean 55 not but i'm going to get i'm going to do it you know what i mean i'm going to get these uh iconic level three the unit capacity 1000 but an important thing to note and consider is that for the shield of internal empire did i say internal <laughs> shield of eternal empire it costs a lot less okay. materials it's going to cost you 35 instead of 55 and that's only going to go up isn't it for icon at level four i want to get this to icon at level five um it's not enough to put me off on VIP 17, I get a legendary every six days, literally for free. And there's other events where they just give away materials and you can get them from killing Bob. So it's, I don't think it's going to put me off at all, if I'm totally honest. But I just wanted to make sure peeps are aware. Yes, you'll have the blueprints. Yes, I still think it's the best strategy just because, as I said, you don't have to sink a lot of gems into um getting the blueprints on hunt for history or whatever even though hunt for history is a very good event in terms of value you get loads of materials from that um so it's not the worst thing in the world and i still will use it as i said i'm still gonna in the previous video i'm still gonna be doing the um the gloves and, and i'm also gonna be doing the shoes um it may not be eternal empire boots or whatever or the shoes or it may well be um but these are the two i reckon you need to do hunt for history for gloves and the shoes and and, and yeah i've already done a video talking about where you get the trousers and the cloak but um that's it just to note it please like subscribe daddy steve and i'm out